Have you found an interesting job ad and are you wondering if you should call the person who's mentioned as a contact person here in Germany? Um, maybe you got this advice from a friend who said that, you know, if you call the person, you'll stand out a bit more and that'll help you get the job. Um, so if this is why you are watching the video, um, let me tell you what my point of view on this is and maybe this will be of help. Um, here in Germany, I think we are a bit more hesitant to, you know, reach out to people directly all the time. We don't use that many communication channels. So um, if we call someone in the recruitment process, especially um, as an applicant, not as a person who's, you know, planning to interview you or whatever, um, the only way, reason we do this is if, you know, there's something really urgent or really important. Otherwise, we would usually not call this person directly. So here's my first advice. If you decide to call, then you have to have a really, really good reason. Don't, you know, just, you know, pick up the phone when you're walking around outside and just saw the job ad and a question popped up in your mind. Don't just pick up the phone and call the person without preparing for it. If you decide to call, a good reason would, for instance, be, you know, if the deadline is getting closer and you're trying to upload something, but the form doesn't work or, you know, I mean, we've all experienced this in the past, um, that would be a very good reason to call, right? Um, then also, if you have already dropped them an email and never got a reply, I think that's also a good reason to call and ask, you know, if you if they actually got your email and so on, especially if the deadline is getting closer, because you may have a question, you know, you may wonder if the job ad is still open, right? If, if the job is still available, if the job ad is quite old. I think, I think often people forget to take their job ads offline. Um, or if you have a question regarding the framework, location, start date or whatever, I think all these things can usually be asked via email. Um, but of course, if it's a more complex kind of setup, you can also call. But then if you do so, or if you have never, you know, gotten a reply and decide to ask them via phone, um, make sure that you're really well prepared, be very friendly, ask the person if he or she is actually the right person to talk to, have a very clear reference, maybe there's a number um, mentioned on the job ad, because this person is probably handling, you know, several job ads at the time. So so just make sure that you can give them a reference um, and then also ask if it's a good time to talk um, because these persons are often very busy um, from my experience and um, uh, that's why you should always think twice before taking their time because um, maybe if you got this advice from someone else you can leave a very positive impression when you talk to someone directly but not if you're stealing their time with a question that's not really important or because you know you're not clear about the job you're talking to and it takes them several minutes to find the job at or whatever that's not very nice for them either right so just make sure that you're well prepared um, be very clear about what you want to ask and then prepare a bit in the way you would also prepare for an interview, right? I mean, you don't have to be able to answer all the questions about the company or whatever. This is not going to turn into an interview. But if you know, if you have a more complex question, maybe a question regarding your profile, if you're actually qualified for it, then um, you should be able to present yourself in a manner that is kind of attractive, right? That is um, kind of interesting for them. Uh, so I think that's just very helpful when it comes to preparation. Um, so make sure if you pick up the phone that you're well prepared and that it's a really important reason that you have to call them. Otherwise, just drop them a formal email and ask them to call you back or drop you an email if it's a very easy question to answer. Yeah, that was my point of view on this. Um, there may be persons who will tell you something different. As always, there are always two sides of the story. This is just my experience as a recruiter and HR person here. Um, leave me your comments, leave me your questions. Visit our website, um, mitragermany.com. Um, we have a lot of helpful insights on careers in Germany and uh, help international talents who are interested in careers over here. So you will find the link below in um, the um, bio of the video.